subscribe to our youtube channel short entertainment legal matters but never forget to hit on like icon and share with your friends thank you ready start at the outset i should like to state that we are not able to understand some of the secrets of the railway board and the policy which they are following when i say secret i mean that they have got certain policies and methods which are not easily understandable by people like us there is no proper organization through which the ordinary railway laborers and their associations could represent their grievances the honorable minister was pleased to say the other day that there is the railway men's federation but i must tell him that the practical difficulty of all the unions in the railways is that they are not able to push their case through the railway men's federation another thing i would like to point out is that when representations are made to the honorable railway minister or the railway board in many cases we get a suitable reply and as far as i have seen we do get a suitable reply but that is all i would request the honorable minister to see that their cases are properly considered and something is done for them the other day i represented to the honorable minister and also the railway board the case of the sanitary inspectors they are classified as supervisory staff prior to 3rd may 2008 they were given upper class passes like other officers but since that date all of a sudden the upper class passes have been stopped for these people we do not understand why this discrimination should have been made against these sanitary inspectors i would request the honorable minister to see that proper consideration is shown to them and to remove inconsistencies in this regard even though repeated representations have been made to the railway board and the honorable minister the case of the running staff has never been properly considered at all in the case of b grade firemen all of a sudden the literacy qualification was introduced and people who have passed the sslc examination have been taken directly as firemen but what about the case of those who entered service before this literacy question was introduced some of them have put in more than 10 years of service they were recruited by a staff selection board after proper examination they were never required to pass the sslc examination when they entered service but suddenly this literacy qualification has been introduced and their chances of promotion have been reduced the number of persons affected is very small and i would therefore request the honorable minister to look into their case favorably another point is about telegraph inspectors they are the people who look after the maintenance of telegraph lines they have been recruited in the normal manner and they are the people who have put in service of more than 10 or 15 years the question of wireless inspectors came in at the time of war they are now classified along with telegraph inspectors when you are certain appointments or grades are introduced the case of the telegraph inspectors is overlooked the wireless inspectors who are called communication inspectors at present came into the picture only at the time of war 
now what happens is that the telegraph inspectors who have put in a service of more than 10 or 15 years and who look after the work which was used to be done by the wireless inspectors are neglected and overlooked. I hope their cases will receive the deepest consideration of government and a proper solution will be found. I now come to the grievances of travelling ticket examiners. Representations were made by them that they should be classified as running staff. They are not sitting staff. They have been representing that they should be classified as running staff along with drivers and firemen. Their cases have been overlooked. It is a small case and the railway board can easily understand it if only they have a mind to look into the matter. There are ever so many things but I do not want to mention them all. I do not understand the secrets of the delay. According to the railway board, delay means 10 years. That is the minimum. I am not exaggerating. I shall give you an example. An estimate for constructing an overbridge was sanctioned 10 years ago. Nobody came there. I requested the Honorable Deputy Minister to visit that place. He was pleased to visit it. I must thank the Honorable Deputy Minister on behalf of my constituency. What happens is that we cannot be taking the Honorable Railway Minister or the Honorable Deputy Minister to each and every place where a work has to be executed. This is another point which I want the Railway Ministry as well as the Railway Board to bear in mind. People are nowadays afraid of travelling in aeroplanes but I think that a reference to the volume of papers supplied to us will show that accidents due to trains are increasing day by day stop. One word wrongly spelled that is two.